You've probably heard people distinguish between fixed and variable costs. You might be wondering, well, what exactly is a variable cost? Well, essentially a variable cost is a cost that changes based on a level of activity. Changes with activity. And what I mean by activity, uh, it could, could be a number of things. It could be the number of units produced by the firm. It could be the number of hours worked. Could, could be a variety of things that are actually the activity that's driving the change in the cost. Uh, but the main idea is that as this activity level increases, there's going to be a corresponding change in the total variable cost. So let's understand this or walk through this with an example. So let's say that you have a lemonade stand. So we have a, a lemonade stand. And we're just going to drill down and look at one type of cost, which would be the cost of, of the materials, the ingredients, to make the lemonade. So it'd be the lemons, the sugar. Okay, so we've we've got our ingredients here to make lemonade. That's obviously going to be a cost, right? It's not free to get get lemons and sugar. So we'll say that the cost is uh, to get these items is one dollar a glass. Right, this isn't the price of the lemonade. Uh, lemonade. We're not getting into that. We're just saying to get lemons and sugar to make one glass of lemonade it's going to cost a dollar which now that I think about it that's a lot of sugar so that's part this glass is going to have a lot of kick but in any event it's a dollar uh, to make a glass of lemonade in terms of these materials so let's say or let's think about how this cost is going to behave as we produce more units in this case a unit would just be a glass of lemonade right so Let's just let's graph this out here, and we say that the number of units or glasses of lemonade, let's put glasses here, well, and then we'll look at the cost on this axis here. So how does the, how does the cost change? That's what we want to look at. How does the cost behave as there's a change in the activity, which in this case is the number of units produced? So let's, let's just map this out here. So let's say that we make five glasses of lemonade. How much is that going to cost us? Well, five times a dollar a glass is five. So we're going to, I'll just mark this out here. We make five units is going to be five dollars, right? Now, we've got our cost, and we want to see how this cost behaves, how, whether it changes based on the activity level or based on the number of units. So if we, make, if we make more glasses of lemonade, will this cost change? Well, let's take a look. So let's say we make 10, right? So 10 is our units now, 10 glasses of lemonade. What's going to happen to our cost? Well, 10 times a dollar a glass is going to be 10. So let's map that out on our axis here. So now we've got a cost of 10. So see what happened? We went from a total cost here of 5 to 10. So our cost increased and this makes sense if you think about it right. We, we made more lemonade, we made more glasses of lemonade, we, so we needed to use more materials, we needed to use more ingredients. The idea being that we've seen that the cost changes based on how many units we actually made, how many glasses of lemonade. And if, if you continue with this you'll see it's actually uh, there'll be a, a conti oh, continuing relationship here. It'll look something like that, right? We've got this linear relationship, but the main idea being that the cost is changing based on the amount of units produced. Now, you might think, hey, wait a minute, that, that sounds like common sense. Why, why do we even care? Well, a fixed cost, for example, the cost of the stand itself, right? If we actually just bought a stand for $25, well, the, the stand doesn't matter how many units of lemonade we make. That The cost of that stand is just going to be constant, right? So if it was at like 25, it's just going to be the same cost. Or Well, that's the unit section. The 25 would just be the same regardless of how many units we produce. So the idea being here that some costs behave differently based on how many units are produced and variable costs 
change, whereas fixed costs remain constant regardless of how many units are produced or hours are worked.